At this very moment, you stand on a narrow ledge between life and death. It may not feel like it, but a whirlwind of activity is happening inside you and must continue indefinitely. Imagine yourself as a slinky cascading downstairs with an escalator moving upward. The descending slinky symbolizes your cell's self-replicating processes. The ascending escalator represents the physical laws propelling you forward. Being alive means you're always in motion, yet you never truly arrive. Reaching the escalator's top means no more descent is possible. You're dead permanently. Alarmingly, the universe seems intent on you reaching that top. How do you avoid this fate? Why are you alive at all? All life originates from the cell, a fragment of the inert universe temporarily isolating itself to pursue its unique activities. When this isolation falters, the cell perishes, merging back into the inert universe. Regrettably, the universe favors the cessation of life's distinctive endeavors, gravitating towards monotony. We term this principal entropy a fundamental, though intricate and counterintuitive law of our universe. We'll explore this further in another session. For now, grasp that living beings are inherently vibrant, a testament to the beauty of life. A cell has millions of proteins and even more straightforward molecules like water. Thousands of intricate, self-replicating processes occur up to hundreds of thousands of times every second to maintain life's excitement. To prevent achieving entropy and becoming lifeless and dull, the cell must keep itself distinct from the rest of the universe. It does this by actively expelling excess molecules, maintaining a difference in specific molecule concentrations inside and outside. Cells crave energy, the ability of objects in the universe to perform work, to move or alter something, to create or transform. This energy is neither created nor destroyed. Its total amount in the universe remains constant. One of the earliest challenges for life forms was to harness usable energy, likely from simple chemical reactions. They eventually discovered the ultimate energy transfer system, the molecule adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, a master of storing and releasing energy. When a cell needs to expel molecules or repair a tiny machine, it breaks down ATP, utilizing the released chemical energy to work and initiate changes. This ability is crucial for almost every life-sustaining process. Plants, fungi, bacteria, and animals all rely on ATP. Without it, life as we know it would cease. While early life forms used chemical reactions to obtain energy, they initially missed a massive energy source, the sun, which fuses atoms and emits energy-rich photons into our solar system. However, this energy must be raw to be used directly and refined. After hundreds of millions of years, a cell evolved to utilize this energy through photosynthesis, transforming radiation into usable chemical energy stored in ATP. This process improved as some cells learned to synthesize glucose, a simple high energy and tasty molecule. This led to a significant evolutionary shift. Some cells started consuming others to steal their glucose and ATP a move seen as one of the greatest betrayals in evolutionary history. Photosynthetic cells could primarily harness energy at their surfaces, which limited their energy production and evolutionary potential. However, life continued, and one transformative day, a cell consumed another without destroying it. This partnership changed everything. The consumed cell specialized in producing ATP, becoming the first mitochondrion, while the host cell focused on survival. This division of labor allowed the new cell to access more energy than before, paving the way for more complex life forms. Eventually, these cells form communities, leading to multicellular organisms and ultimately to you. Today, you are part of a vast network of trillions of cells, each bustling with little machines that supply you with the energy you need to live. If this process stops even briefly, you die. It's curious that despite life's fragility, we don't store ATP like sugar and fat cells. Could this oversight be a survival flaw? Or is it because ATP, while excellent for immediate energy transfer, is inefficient for long-term storage? Daily, your body produces roughly your body weight in ATP to sustain you. This ongoing cycle is a testament to life's ability to make the inert universe more fascinating. Life began billions of years ago when parts of the universe converged to form something new capable of growth and self-preservation. That spark set life in motion, a journey that continues through every living cell to you today. Eventually, you'll rejoin the inert universe, perhaps leaving behind tales of your trip. Until then, you participate in life's grand task, making a dull universe infinitely more interesting.